they just talking about the seating arrangements and administrative stuff now It's a Kremlin in Germany. They say could not load movie for some reason new stream is having some problems.
who was trying to show the what is the start reading heading again all right They are still trying to sort out some technical difficulties here, some technical difficulties with reference to sound. So, so this is the beginning of the Parayan for September 2nd in India, September 1st here in America and this is the first session as we see our Gnani bowing in front of Lord Krishna and uh, uh, they are still trying to do some, they are having some technical difficulties but my Lord Shiva may I become such that I represent your nimit for salvation of the world. Highest namaskars to Lord Shiva, Lord Simandar, as we see our Gnani. And, uh, and the Parayan is on Aptavani 8. The Aptavani in English is available. We are going to start on page 160, we are told, on the heading, and we just lost the signal there. <coughs> There's back again in front of Dada, 
my lord highest namaskars to you may you be with me as i read your aptavani niruma let your grace be there so that we can see and understand your words as they are and uh, <coughs> and uh, they're still trying to i can hear from them i have that they are still trying to set up the sound here that bhagwan nasinge ji ka ho is going on goddess amba and mahapat mavati who will remove any obstructions for anyone who wants to really participate in this parayan this great parayan detailed study of aptavani 8 <clears throat> hema highest namaskars to you as he turns and now faces the huge huge crowd and we will get the first glimpse of the huge crowd and it has gathered in simandar city a new building has been built for this and a beautiful background of aptavani 8 the book which on the gujarati page we will be on page 139 but as he raises his hands and he is ready now to enter into the uh, <coughs> into the parayan lost signal that of one singing going on I cannot give you the sound live sound over there because if I do then I will not be able to hear the sounds exactly so I have to cover up the sound completely except when there is aarti and general stuff going on at that time I will pull out the uh, the uh, earphones uh, so that you can uh, you can get a feel for what's going on so no signal and uh, after the first few sessions we will all get very comfortable in in uh, in seeing this So Jay Sachidanand to Munich from Florida from Katya. Yes Katya. <laughs> We're trying to get into the signals here and the boys of our team are trying their best to get this thing going. They have gone into use live streaming. Uh another organization called Live Stream versus Ustream. and the background i can hear the radha bhagwan nasinge ji kar ho going on deepak bhai is not just said anything Dada Bhagwan, na sinje chikar ho going on in low in the background only. And there we have our darshan, our gnani. Yes, namaskar to the gnani and the absolute self within him as he opens the book hello jai sachidanand he says i bow to the absolute self paramatma who resides within you with absolute 
obeisance and deep deep namaskars jai sachidanand to all of you we will proceed with avtavani 8 the greatest thing is about the awareness of the self and the understanding of the self and to know this in specific details and he we get awareness are you able to hear in the back how do i know that people in the back can hear he says i can hear but i cannot understand anyway it's a huge hall or oh, there it is you can see the hall <laughs> he says yes i understand but i don't un- i hear but i don't understand now do you understand you have to hear plus understand he says it's not enough to be able to hear but also hear plus understand aptavani 8 is on the pure soul only in because yeah it is there are here dada is talking to those who are enlightened as well as those who have not received the knowledge of the self and in the aptavani 8 progressively lets you become free from all the ignorance and finally lets you know that you verily are the pure soul only you are the pure soul and nothing else and it's so to understand and so and the second half of the aptavani 8 deals with how to get this idea and how to get this experience of her, the self so let us proceed with it now we are going to now read further we are going to read from page 139 which is the, for us it's page 160 upon attaining the awareness of the s capital self one becomes immortal uh, uh, page 139 uh and uh it is it is better I'm sorry we have just started so it is sorry on page 162 saying god you are separate will never lead to self realization so doing bhakti what is the difference between so so saying god you are separate will never lead to self realization so doing bhakti devotional worship of god is good with that you receive worldly pleasures and find a path ahead towards spirituality one progresses on the spiritual path he finds company of good people and he also receives uh, satsangs but one does not gain any experience of the self did did you like anything that i have said so far about the ved buddhi and its role in the separation of the jiva and the shiva only then it is considered as experience is it not otherwise a mere assumption of what one believes to be the experience is all wrong is it not many people have saved many such wrong experiences and that too they picked them up from from the weekly friday markets they bought the ones that were discarded and sold in the market by other people therefore the uh, jeev shiv ved buddhi should go away that is why akha bhagat has said that if you are jiva then god is the doer and if you are god then that is the real thing he is right is he not therefore when the ved buddhi the divisive intellect of the separation between the mortal and the immortal goes away then you are shuddhatma you are paramatma one says god is separate and i am separate but when the separation between jiva and shiva is understood exactly page 162 that there is no separation between the two then he becomes free sooner or later yeah one will have to understand this will you not one will have to know the atma eventually will you not when one knows the atma the jeev shiv separation will go away and that happens all fear will go away and vitrakta prevails but when there is an end 
one can when uh, you verily are the master of the world but this realm has been lost what kind of a thing is this therefore one should attain the experience of i am pure soul and that is called the experience when the awareness of i am shuddhatma happens it is called experience every living being has the ex- experience of i am a jiva i am a i am living and i am yeah this is the deep by repeating the last paragraph you verily are the master of the world in a jiva means the one who lives and dies jiva and then shiva means the one who becomes the immortal one the immortal one shiva means jiva jiva is verily the shiv the living one is verily the shiv but he believes that he is the dying and the living one once the separation between once the separation between the mortal one versus the immortal one goes away then he becomes the shivoham shivoham chidanand swarupi shivoham shivoham i am the sat chit anand shiva only i am the sat chit anand shiva but the path of removing separation is the same questioner can the jeev shiv separation be destroyed through any other body besides the human body and the other shri says no not through any other body questioner uh, can penance be done through the subtle body or the sukshma dev and the other shri says penance to know all this no penance cannot no penance cannot destroy the separation between the mortal and the immortal uh, not even penance can do it question are, are there any subtle rituals for destroying this separation can one know it through the subtle body that the shri says the gnani purush can do a lot to know more in these subtle matters for the gnani purush the separation in jiva shiva self and self small s and s, s, s capital self is already gone but if he wants to know beyond that he can do so through other subtle means that she is to say says deepak bhai that i go to lord simandar with the subtle body and i have gotten this gnan through lord simandar in my subtle body and then beyond that is kevar gnan however only the gnani purush only can know however the practitioner of penance cannot know this this case see the people of penance do not know the bhed gnan the awareness of separation etc deepak bhai speaks in a low volume here questioner can one remove the separation between jeev and shiv through the subtle body and dadashree on page 164 no he can do so but it is in his belief only it is psychological and it is not acceptable it has to be methodod methodical through gnan it has to be done along that line whether it is vedant or jainism or anything the path is just the same the knowledge is of just one kind deepak bhai says no kriya no activity will get you there no activity of mind speech and body will get you there it is only through gnan that you can get there questioner so this jeev shiv separation can be removed only in the human life is that so the other shri says it is not possible at all in any other body other than the human body questioner how about devagati as a celestial being the other shri says no nothing can happen there all they can do is that if they want to do darshan while remaining there they can come here so they can come here to do the darshan like the like the celestial beings do darshan from the sky is questioner can one in the videhi state one who has attained the self is free destroy this jiva shiva separation videhi a videhi has become shiva himself one whose jiva shiva separation is removed becomes shiva swarup the self he is considered a videhi you see he is considered you see so yes the devas the celestial beings can come to do the darshan but they cannot do the darshan videhi the videhi himself is the shiva says dipak bai next heading the jeev is the doer and the sufferer the, the this doer and the sufferer the jeev it is the jeev's ignorant belief that i am going to die so so as long as he is as long as he is living 
he is living but otherwise he dies the state of living and dying is called jiva and ajanma amar never born eternal is called atma and it is called shiva shuddhatma is shiva the ultimate work is done when one understands that i am the blissful one i am the self i am shiva that that is uh, deepak was just repeating what we have just read you see the self the other the jiva has arisen the self is always there and there is through the wrong belief he believes that i am over i am nada i am katya and that is the wrong belief that is called the jiva and then once it is he realizes that it is all temporary and perishable i am the pure soul i am the rani sile then one comes back to his pure soul state as long as the awareness of i am doing it and i am suffering it exists one is a jiva jiva is a doer karta and sufferer bhogta and when the awareness of i am the non doer and the non sufferer a karta a bhogta becomes established in his shraddha faith and conviction pratiti he becomes the self then whether it comes into manifestation or rupak it is a different thing the here the listen rupak means experience will come much later says deepak bhai listen here don't worry about it coming into conduct rupak means manifestation conduct important thing is the pratiti the conviction and the awareness that's the greatest thing in conduct as the pure soul will come much later yes Yeah, the most important is the and the doership has to go away and therefore the ragdvesh has to go away and then you become free from the suffering and that is how you become you slowly move towards the rupak or the manifestation of it as long as you become come into the pratiti then you are fine yeah you, you see through the mind speech and body the old ignorance will come but through that against that you are the pure soul questioner I don't. I did not understand which situation of the jiv did you say? The Shri says the doer sufferer is the state of the jiva. I am doing this. I am suffering the pain or the pleasure. This is the state of the jiva. It is temporary state. Does one not say I am going to die? And he also says I am still going to live another fifteen years. Do they not say that? Questioner says yes. The Kadada Shri says that is the jiva. That is the jiva. I am the doer. I am the sufferer, and there are two more. There are other two, and then I am over, and then, and this is mine. So there are four things. I am the doer. I am the sufferer. I am away, and this is mine. These are the four problems. You see, these are the four major headings. I am the doer. I am the sufferer. I am Katya, and this is mine. These are the four headings that get into into difficulties. You see. and so then you become the sufferer of that which is non of the non self you become the sufferer of the non self not of the s capital self you see you are and therefore because you become the owner of that which is the non self you become katya you become over and in these four manners you you in because of these in these four manners you spin in the cycle of the non self life after life after life after life after life and in when you say i am the pure soul in our agnas and it's so you say that means you are of your free into the you again agna number 2 that means you can then number agna number 3 vyavasthit the karsta you know uve is not the doer kacha is not the doer and therefore i am not the doer so these agnas make you become free from the doership as well as the ownership and you come into the swabhav into the pure soul state nature so that you do not become the owner of that which is the non self and therefore you become the experiencer of the s capital self experiencer of who you really are and then you become the experiencer of infinite knowledge and infinite bliss within and that is who i am my and the my is not and so all the false ownership of kacha goes away and the real ownership of my blissful state begins this is all in my file so file has to be settled with sus uh, equanimity how about suffering before gnan we used to suffer with rag dvesh after gnan we su- we suffer it all we let it go through it without rag dvesh that is all this is a fantastic thing that dada has given us in these five agnas you see what is vibhav vishesh bhav that means i am katya and this is mine 
I am the sufferer and I am the doer. You see, these are all we bhavs. And so now we know where we have to do really play, play in the escapital self only. Questioner says, yes. Dada Shri says, this is, this is, that is the jiva. Questioner, is jiv the doer? Dada Shri says, his awareness is that I am the doer, I am the sufferer. The one that has the desire to live and not to die is the jiva. Atma, the self, the Shiva is the non-doer and the non-sufferer. Do you understand this difference between Jiv and Shiv, says Dada? It is just a belief. It is already happening. He just believes that he is the doing. That is all, says Deepak Bhai. It is, he says, I made the tea, I made the soup, I made the meal. It is happening through the non-self complex. It is just, it's just the wrong belief and nothing else. It is just... And so it says it's, and Dada has given us the magnificent discovery the, at the main root cause of of the doership, and therefore has given us the gnan as well as the agna and as well as the satsang. So so that each and every result will shed off, is effect will shed off. You see, in ignorance, this is where everybody is stuck. That I am the doer, and I am the sufferer, and then he'll say. I have to meditate, I have to concentrate, I have to go to retreats, I have to do... And so I have to do this, and I have to do that, and I have to... And so he gets stuck in this. And then this doership is the illusion, says Akha Bhagat. And so I have to do it. I, and the entire world says, you've got to do it, you've got to do it, and if you don't do it, how are you going to get it, etc. And so this is how. And so then... So then, uh, uh, from outside illusion, outside doership comes into the doership of religion, and even in the religion matters, he gets into the confusions of doership, and then he, and this carries on, and then, and then sooner or later he comes to the final conclusion that I'm not going to get my pure soul state in this, and we all must have experienced all this for countless previous lives. That is why the moment we hear it. We understand it in our bones, we understand it in our heart, and we accept it very so beautifully. We accept it, so there we see our beautiful hall. We see our very beautiful hall. Somebody is asking a question, is an Aftaputri is asking. We talk about Purusharth Dharma, the religion of, of Purusharth. Is it on bhav? Is, does it come in Swabhav or in bhav? No, it comes in Swabhav. There are two types of Purusharth. One is uh, relative Purusharth, I am who was Purusharth, and the other one is Ishmindrayana Zile Purusharth, I am pure soul Purusharth. But I, the, I am pure soul is through the grace of the Gnani, she says, yes, five Agna is the real Purusharth now, and, and uh, settling the file with equanimity, whatever has happened is correct, is Vyavasthit. That is the Purusharth Dharma, the religion of the true Purusharth. We have discussed this in our five Agna sessions. <coughs> Doership means what is, you see, you see, to put when you mix sugar milk in the tea, you see, that is the relative Purusharth, and then there is the Purusharth of awareness of, of the pure relative and the real, and that is the true Purusharth. In the, in, 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 the, in the, the Purusharth of illusion is to move from the negative towards the positive, whereas the real Purusharth is to remain as the S capital self and to apply the five Agnas. You see, so there is the Purusharth of illusion and the Purusharth which is real, which is the S of the Purusharth of the S. When Deepak gets wrong vows and intentions, if I become the knower, then I am in the right Purusharth. When Uva or Katya gets the wrong intentions, to be the knower of those wrong intentions, you become the right, you come into the right Purusharth or the real Purusharth. When Deepak or when Uva or Katya hurts someone, to do, to make Deepak, Uva or Katya do Pratikraman, that is the right Purusharth. In other words, you, you never cross the line of demarcation. You always stay on this side of the demarcation. You do the Pratikraman. Deepak, you do the Pratikraman. Kachya, you do the Pratikraman. Shuddha, you do the Pratikraman and keep it separate. The real Purusharth is to keep this separate, keep the relative and the real separate, to keep Agna 1 and Agna 2 separate. That is how it is. No matter, the worst thing may have happened, but you should not be affected in that. You know, it's just, if you just do the Pratikraman and you just wash it off, that is all, that is all that is necessary. Now, 
when can one ever come the become the non doer by doing that is why it has been said if you are jeev then god is the doer and if you are shiva then that is the true thing if you become the shiva then there is nothing else left there is no one above you as the boss as long as you are a jeev you will like worldly pressures and the relatives here comes my daughter's father in law one gets lost even when his daughter's father in law comes in whatever one gets lost he becomes that he gets lost in the company of his sons and son in laws such are our people people dipak bhai says they get so absorbed in the tv they get lost in tv too so you know they get tanmaya kar and they become one with the situation the physical situation the you know, and but to become one with the eternal self is the critical thing here then it reads karta mite to chute karma ek che maha bhajan no marma one becomes free from the bondage of karma when the doer is gone this is the essence of the ultimate devotional offering of liberation what is the essence of the maha bhajan if one does not become free from karma then the doer is subject to karma then karma is subject to the doer and the doer is subject to the karma and the cycle goes on endlessly what a cycle of creation and destruction causes and effect effect and causes causes and effect in all this people teach each other doership they make them the doers don't do this do something good one on the one hand one wants to become free from karma and they so the questioner says contradictory the other says yes and therefore this train will not reach kashi banaras banar varanasi for so many lifetimes people trains have not reached there which is moksha hey you who knows which station is it is leisurely parked at and so it has not yet reached kashi that is why i have given you the passport for kashi and that will take you to kashi not the wheels of the trains but this passport nanvidhi will take you there because your doership will go away so then what will be left in this world you see on the basis of karma the you are the karta says deepak bhai you see it is on the basis of karma that you are the doer says deepak bhai you see because in the effect is in front of you and then again in the effect you believe that i am the doer and therefore you are charging it again yes you see the moment you have the intention that i want to make a cup of tea and and make other people have it i i want to be i want to serve tea to 50 people that intention goes into vyavasthit and so then the effect comes back in front of you and so because you had the intention of doership when you were doing it in discharge also you will have the intention of doership that i am doing it and against that you will have to apply this awareness that i am not the doer and so uh, at a very subtle level you continue to believe that i am the doer i am the doer again you will say i did it i did it but you didn't do it you it is the vyavasthit inside you have the agna 3 has to come in says that vyavasthit is the doer vyavasthit did did, did it everything you are not the doer it if be by becoming the doer at the subtle level it charges and then it comes into the gross level and again you become the doer at the subtle level and it comes into the gross level so from causes from the seed it comes the tree and from the tree again it becomes the seed and the cycle goes on the 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 doership is at the subtle causal level see at the at the subtle level a sense that i am doing it so at that level the cause has to be shattered and what grace that our gnani has shattered it in the gnan vidhi you see that's the passport only the gnani can free you from wrong beliefs i'm reading questioner i believe that it is the jiva that makes us do all this dada shri but who is the doer if jiva makes you do who is the doer in fact in fact uh uh, uh who is uh, who is the doer in fact even the jeev is not making you do it question no it is the jeev that makes one do it for sure the other she said it appears to you that way the other she said that is why i question her said that is why i feel that the first the jeev has to be brought under control and then one can move forward the other she says hey you the poor jeev the mortal one does not make you do anything he does not have the capacity to even to go to the toilet 
one will discover that he does not have the independent energy to go to do so when he gets constipated. He will be able to go to the toilet only when the doctor gives him some medicines for it. Questioner, but, but if it signals me from within that I have to go to the toilet, then I go. No, the other she says, that is true. The physical signal, the urge comes from within, but the jeev does not have the energy of its own to go to the toilet. The jeev functions through some other energy. It is also not the energy of the Atma. It is true that it tells you from within. What is the meaning of the signal from within? When the urge arises from within, the mind immediately tells the sense organs that, that this is what it wants to do, so all the sense organs will get ready. Therefore, everything works through the energy of the inner physical signals. Questioner. But one can move ahead only. Deepak is repeating this. You see, this is the energy, but the, the, there, is a, there is a wrong belief portion which is called Jeev means I am over, the one who believes I am over, that is the Jeev. But then there is the peripheral body which is on autopilot automatically. And so there is, there is the peripheral body and then there is the belief body, the one Jeev means that uh, the one who believes that I am this body, the middleman. And that is called the Jeev. That is the one who believes I am I'm living and I am dying. You see, that I am going to the toilet, I am controlling everything, etc. So, and so, and so, or say, because of current ignorance, he believes that I am doing all of this thing in the question. I am doing it. This is all the illusion. That is called, the, the, the state of illusion is called the state of the Jiva. And this is not under the control of the escapage itself. This is... And so, you see, it is the middle one who has taken over this. It is happening in the Pudgal, in the peripheral body complex only. But it is, and it is the Vyavasthit Shakti, the Vyavasthit energy that gives the energy and the signals inside that says, okay, time to go to the toilet. The mind says, ah, let's go to the toilet, etc. But you see, again, after having gone to the toilet, he says, I went to the toilet, I evacuated my bowels. But now we, our ignorance is gone. So now, Dadashri replies, somebody is asking, Sabdashri Abharaptaputra asking a question, there is a, there is a, will you please explain this, this, this inspiration, the, and the inspiration energy that is there inside. A, we talk about that, that Vyavasthit gives you the inner inspiration. What is prerna, inner inspiration? Prerna. They say, the one who has, ha, has planted the seed, he is the one who is going to get the inner inspiration. In the last year, if you had planted a certain seed, then this life, a little plant will grow and that is the inspiration. Behind it, there will be... And then he will believe that I am having the... Uh, it is happening to me and he will become absorbed in it and he will say, this is happening to me. But initially, there is an underlying inspiration that is part of the unfolding of the Vyavasthit. When we were, when we, when we threw the seed in on the ground in the last life, we were there, and that was at a certain level. And then the rain and everything, all the conditions were right. And in this life, then the plant grew, and then it will grow. And every time it grows, it gives an inner inspiration, an inner inspiration, and that is the prana, and that is the inner kick. Yes. Yes. It is, you see, this prerna, this inspiration is happening. You are not doing it. It is uh, happening on the basis of the unfolding karma. And if you read it, it is really, it is this energy. This is happening. The physical signal, the earth comes from within. That is what we just read. You are not creating this physical signal. You see, uh, try prerna and prerna shakti and prerna is the same thing. The prerna shakti means the energy of inspiration is the same thing, really, not the same thing. Prerna is this karma fard. You see, Kar karma fard, the, uh, the effect of the karma and the giver of karma are two different things. The effect of karma is happening to you and the, uh, the giver of the karma effect is Vyavasthit. When, when in ignorance you planted the seed in the last life and then the result comes here. It's, but when, when the inspiration happens, looks like it feels as if it's happening due to some inner inspiration. In, initially, the inner inspiration may be positive and then at the other time it will be negative inspiration. 
everything it is all prerna all inspiration positive or negative is part of that which is unfolding you see and but you see if you want to convert it into positive you can certainly say that even if it's negative i want to proceed in such a way that no should nobody should be hurt in it that's all and but you see it all is also dependent on the unfolding of whether it is unfolding of pap or punya whether it is unfolding of sin effects or if it is unfolding of merit karma effects and you see where is the beginning here we are going even before the pap and the punya before the merit and the demerit karma i became an engineer but how did i became a mechanical engineer but where but you see i became a mechanical engineer in this life says deepak bhai because it was an effect from a previous life effect cause before a previous life cause some other person becomes a doctor you see you see you see when you see a little child playing with a stethoscope and with little bandages uh, you will know that he is going to become a doctor will he not whereas if he is playing with mechanical toys he will most likely will end up becoming a, a mechanical engineer dada says that dada she talks about three little three little inner bells on vyavasthit when vyavasthit is going to happen there will be three inner bells three different times when bells will ring inside somebody feels like having uh, having uh, bhajiyas or something special initially there will be a uh, the first signal okay let's go for bhajiyas that's you know the the french fries the second is if uh, the first bell you should be aware of it rather than just jumping into the car and going to mcdonalds because after the second time it happens then the third time will happen so so the other shit talks about this three inner ringing bells about the inspirations from vyavasthit and the book of vyavasthit aptavani 11 dada was constantly looking within in terms of any bells that would ring from the mind the first bell would ring there oh i think i need a haircut and so but when it happens but he will not make the decision immediately he will wait for two more bells to ring and then he will say okay looks like now i think now we'll have to do it you see yes so so some so we have to yes so now so so again so and so so is any if he goes to supposing goes for a haircut on a day after even after the three bells he might find that the barber is not there and so dada would study everything aha uh-huh. so this is so then dada would study that oh and then finally when he goes there he says aha the, the shop is open the barber is there so now the man is there the location is there the intention is there or oh, everything there and of course dada is there and finally the haircut happened so all of those evidences came together and it happened so dada was in a constant study mode of everything that would happen within uh, and uh, and and then then take it further and then you see so but if you use your ego to do it then of course you have lost your atma satta which is the beautiful state of the knower the knower is you see we, the moment you, the signal comes and we were talking about it in terms of the mind the moment the signal comes to the mind and if you jump do it then you are letting go of this beautiful energy of the self that has the ab- ability to kind of check everything and let let you uh check three times within oh three signals now i think it's time to go for it you see now it's time to go for it and so otherwise if if it's not significant there might be just only one signal then it will go away and sometimes if you just remain the knower and the seer the gnata drashta of the first signal that comes the first ringing bell from the vyavasthit inspiration it may go away and it may not happen again so the but it is a discharging bhav is it not he is asking yes the charge bhav was in the last life and this in this life is the discharge bhav to go get a haircut you see or to eat something in the restaurant so the first we do not know whether it is the discharge bhav or the charge bhav and when it happens the second time then you say ah this is happening two twice now and then you are so it is in discharge but you see in the aware state you are aware of this it happening twice and it happened the third time is discharge intent and 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 prerna inspiration the same discharge bhav is discharge bhav is is effect bhav 
and that is the uh, prerna that is the inspiration you can it's all one the same in other words there is an effect effect there's a there is an there is a causal intent and then there is an effect intent there is a causal intent and in effect intent and in the effect intent you become aware of the first signal then the second signal and the third signal a technique of increasing awareness rather than jumping and doing it immediately now uh, another question coming from uh, from sanjay aptaputra it is neither when you said that it, it is it is when when he when you come into the realm of the self you see there is there is the and then there is the realm of the non self the small self and the s capital self is when you know like uh, so the conduct is not under your realm yet so far that's what deepak bhai is saying you see so, so when, when you become the absolute self then the conduct will be yours He, he is reading back, and the 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 Gnani Purush can do anything. We read that that the Gnani Purush. Is it to know only is the realm of the self, but our Gnani Purush Dada Shri had once very special riddhi, special energies, where there is special body called Aharak body can go to Lord Simandar and get very special answers. Swasatta means it is the realm of the S capital self. it is also the result of the purusharth of the s capital self only but dada had some special energies and there are four kinds of bodies udarik udarik sharir vaikrarik sharir karman sharir and tejas sharir are are are, uh, are are dependent on the non self whereas only swasatta is only the knower and seer but the gnani's purusharth is something very specific he has he has the energy to go to lord simandar for the world and for the salvation of the world he can do that ordinary human beings cannot do that and he has that siddhi he it is not the original swasatta of the s capital self that we talk about the only thing that comes under swasatta the swatta the realm of the s capital self is the knower and the seer only i am but you know it is but the extra energies are only belong to our gnani purush dada shri only when there is a very major question that cannot be answered then he would go lo uh, uh, um, gnani kund kundacharya used to do that he he opened up the entire tatva gnan in called samay sar you know 200 years ago and talked a lot about lord simandar and okay so what what is this aharak sharir he says it is the result of the merit karma of people as well as his own uh, intent is it part of scientific circumstance and understand uh, evidence that the progress says yes it could be considered it is it is uh, it is a state after after uh, uh, absolute self realization and you know he had he had beautiful energies that arose within him and he did not use it for his own self he used used it for the world and for the salvation of the world then lord simandar connected with him so this is that is and that can be can be categorized in the in the in the division of p capital purusharth and it is it is really very specific it is nothing to do with the material world and the physical world it is it is it is the aharak sharir the the this very special body the fifth body that goes to lord simandar would leave from the left shoulder of uh, lord uh, dagrani purushada shri go there and be in connection with lord simandar it is not real it is not relative in the and it is not absolutely real but it is in the relative real realm now it the shiv that we talk about the shiv is never born never never died ajanma amar shiv he is talking behind is is shiv paramatma or is it the middle state it is it is, it is in the it is the middle state and it becomes the absolute state shiv swarup and then and the shiv swarup the shiva will become absolute and then he'll become the vitrag the vitrag is higher than the shiva the vitrag is higher than the shiva is just been said now by deepak bhai but you see vedant goes the highest level in vedanta is shiva 
where is the vitarag is the absolute state and the gnani has experienced the vitarag state higher than the shiva state uh, which has just been now disclosed here another question we want to talk about this inspiration and what is the difference between uh, intuition uh, desire and and inspiration that we talked about just now suj the intuition is one's own stock from life after life desire is desire and this inspiration is the effect that arises within as a as a as a causal as as an effect effect an intent in effect this is the beginning the uh, suj is the one's own independent stock one is able to see it as it is uh, life after life you see this subtle way of seeing it and then and then that suj gets converted into absolute vision you see if somebody is stuck in doing some some difficult task and then uve through his intuition can say oh i know how to do it and that is suj that has been carried from a previous life so suj is a suj is suj is uh, is what is evident suj intuition uh, is is what is applica- applied right now depending on what is in front there is you get the clear cut clear intuitive idea of wh- what it is without getting entangled and then there is and and so then so there is a link between this vyavasthit is outside intuition as as the as the darshan avaran karma the the curvail of darshan gets decrease uh, the uh, suj k- keeps on increasing you used to do the work on dada vani deepak bhai and then and then as you are doing the dada vani you okay it, it feels as if that there are some there is nothing independent that you just just say that it is on part of part of scientific circumstantial evidence as deepak bhai don't ever say that you are doing dada vani it is part of sc don't ever do that you say that you are doing the translation it is all happening you see it is really don't say that i did it says deepak bhai yes by relative poyo point i was involved in dada vani but i was not the doer of it all you see you see we know that the dada vani that got done was on the basis of this suj this ability to see it as it is ability and that is we have to focus on the awakened awareness jay sachidanand uh, questioner is now asking but 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 one can move ahead only when he brings the jeev under control is that not so the other she says try and control this jeeva a person does not have the energy to go to the toilet at will he does not have the energy to live or the energy to die if he had the energy to die he would never die but there is no such energy and the questioner is asking who has that energy it is that energy that i am showing you that it is the energy that runs this world uh, the questioner says we call it god the other she says yes people call that god but it is inanimate and that it does not have any life in it it is why we we do not call it god people of the world do not understand that do they and that is why they believe it to be god who else Uh, is there other than god who can do that but it is some other energy that does it which i shall show you says the dadashri questioner my understanding is that jeevas mean that which has all the veils avaran and as these veils are shed one becomes atma from the state of jeev atma dadashri says there are many who believe that the one with these veils is the jiva and the one without the veil niravarana is atma but what i am telling you is that one cannot attain the atma despite having this veils so it must be something new right this is a very critical thing here you see you see see this this is we had the veils are the effect of karma and despite having the effect of karma all of us we attain the s capital self 
now we have to we attain the self and now we have to take care of the mohini avaran the avaran of illusory attachment the avaran of etc questioner that is something new the way it was explained to us was that the air creates waves on the waves ocean the waves are the atma and the ocean is the paramatma and the other she says such talk is all considered vikalps contrary thoughts and ideas crazy vikalps yes the one with the veils you should call as jeeva and the one without veils should be called the atma we should accept such a vikalp or a projection but vikalps such as this are all useless the self atma is not something that you can know rarely once in a thousands of years will there be an atma gnani knower of the atma in this world there will be no other human being like him this is how unique he is unique means there is no other one there yeah, in thousands and he is never in competition in the kramik path yes in kramik path we had lord shrimad rachandra and about you know four or five we do not have any details about how many attained from lord kund 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 acharya acharya kund kund for from from dada now hundreds of thousands are attaining says the pakpai now we come to the next heading here so many consequences of the illusion questioner <coughs> jeev is the essence shiva and atma is verily parmatma so why do people kill or murder other people or hurt them dada dada she says that is the fight between the prakriti the non self it is not a fight between the atmas the prakriti fights just as if two dolls are fighting so as long as the illusion the bhranti prevails one will be under the belief oh my grandson has died oh but the atma has remained the same the packing dies but the people grieve bitterly oh my grandson is dead my one and only grandson is dead he cries as if he himself is going to die and they the book says now we get this this is you see we now we get the vision that the packing is gone and the lord within is eternal and never dies and we also understands that you know even this body is going to go away so but in the you see and then and then they you know then they say this person is killing this person and this person is doing this war and this person is doing this etc and but you know in this with this vision the self is absolutely unstained here is dimple by asking and say vidada says that the one with the veils was the jiva and the ones without the veil was the atma we that was our belief before i am pure soul that i am a shiva when i am a pure soul we, we used to saying that that's correct but now dada dada is saying something very beautiful in the big even what is but there is there is something what is this that we get the self as capital despite the veils even though even even though there is the one with the veils the one inside is without any veils that is what the beauty of it is even the kachya may have veils the one within kachya the pure one is absolutely without any veils at all and so when you know when 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 uve gets a little drink you know and he says he says i am the king of munich you see but you see he but you see he is uve only but he has become a king temporarily king of of bavaria so so it is the effect of the alcohol that has gotten hold over uve and once that effect goes away then he will come back to his natural state and so this is just as the alcohol is the effect in the same way this jeev dasha this the non self has an effect on the one in within you see the but but the real one the rain is here within is does not have any veils you know you see you see so is you see the yellow glasses belong to the non self complex through the discharging 
discharging uve it does not belong to the rhinocele within uve at all see is 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 you see even if a person is limping as is 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 if a person is limping he has got a bad left knee he will say i cannot walk very well but because he'll say he but they you know he'll say i cannot walk i cannot walk who knows that i cannot walk i say he'll say, who says that i'm getting old that one inside is absolutely without any veil over him he knows every little thing that is happening to his knee to his body all around him yeah, he knows everything and inside he also knows the knower inside is absolutely pure and separate and without any veils whatsoever as yes, so the self always remains the self never becomes the non self but it is the illusion that takes over it is that alcohol that over drunk that makes the illusion worse that he says i am the king of bavaria bavaria okay so this is how it is as yes, once once that once the effect of the alcohol goes away the illusion leaves you know he becomes the real or regular old over only in the same way you come become become the self once the illusion leaves this yes is so if if the veil is there then who has the if is not there then who has the veil the answer is if you see just just because you cannot see outside your home because the window is closed doesn't mean that the that it's not there if you open the window it's you can see beautifully it is because of the veil that you cannot see but you see your ability to see the entire uh, southern bavaria from your home is so easy if it's always there just because the wind, the window is closed you cannot see doesn't mean that you do not have the ability to see the, the self as soon as as soon as the window is open you can see far far the ability is there but if the window is in front of you you will not be able to see it you see you see so you know in the same way the mirror is able to see everything but does a mirror become very glad that i can see everything the mirror will reflect everything that comes in front but the mirror does the mirror take credit saying that i am reflecting this and i am reflecting this the mirror is simply the mirror so the agnan parinam the results of ignorance are also of the non self only they are all of the discharging kacha discharging over discharging nada they are not yours they are not happening to the rhinocele and the awakened one within you see so we have become the pure souls with conviction and with a, and much more with than conviction with also with some degree of experience too Uh, the last being added by shuddha the entire dravya karma the yellow glasses is a discharge effect and to believe that it is happening to me that these are my yellow glasses is the error you see and it's because it, it and because say it is i am this and therefore it is to say this is mine and what i see is mine and therefore the, the other three totally disconnects it takes away your yellow glasses you are not to use the yellow glasses you know this is this all the veils are actually bothering dimple that they're bothering uve they are not bothering you the awakened one within you see you understand okay this is he has he has he has experienced the s capital self in so many different ways and as you go into up to 2014 up to 2022 after one you know up to 2024 in the elemental you know you see even he would even tell the husband you really are the pure soul you are the pure soul you don't need to behave as a husband you don't need to behave as a wife you don't need to behave as a man or a woman dada dada he's just literally giving absolutely looking at it from the absolute enlightened perspective and lifting us up if he had finished his four degrees he would have been absolutely enlightened like the fully enlightened lord you see but he opened it all up for us and it is already made us for us we just need to focus on it and 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 we need to we really need to you know become that that's all that's all that is necessary another question from the aptaputri 
Yes, it is because when we cannot see something, that means we have to understand that it is because of a veil that we cannot understand. And when we are able to see, therefore, when there was nothing we could see, as you start seeing, then you can understand. And then you, sh you are aware as a knower that I cannot see and I can see. And the seeing is the inner vision, you see. But when you, by saying that I cannot see, you are increasing your veils. This is very important. Never say anything negative. Just can you just say, I am the blissful knower and seer of everything that is happening. Don't you ever say that I cannot see it. At the most, you can request Dada, Oh Dada Bhagwan, Hey Grani Purush Dada, Shri, give me the energy to see it as it is. And as soon as you see it, you should not, you should not get into the sweet juice of doership. Oh, I can see it. You know, don't should not get into garvaras about it. When when you don't see it, don't get into suffering. And when you start seeing it, then you don't get into the sweet juice of doership and claiming that oh, I can see it. I am somehow, I am somehow more enlightened. You see, so this is both. They are all both major traps. Never say I cannot see it, and never say that yes, I can see it. I see. It. Just these are these are words. This is a state beyond words. You see, this this in vignan. Vignan is higher than vignan. Vignan is the awareness that lets you see it as it is without the expression of it. You see, this is we have we have we have received all of this without finishing our karma. And akram means we have received this magnificent state without finishing the karma. Whereas in the karmic path, we would have had to go step by step by step to try to deal with this thing, you see. So, this is the difference. This is our Swarup, our nature, our state is the S capital self. Again, she is asking. This, ex this is the one. This, this, the, the experiences of the self are happening to the Rhinocele only. They are not happening to the one with the veils. The one with the veils is the discharging complex called Uve and Katya. The one that these experiences are happening to are the one who is awakened and is on this side of the line of demarcation. He has become the self and he has become, he is become that with conviction, with the awareness and, but you see the lack of awareness and, and uh, is the confusion. The lack of Awareness is the entanglement. As as the as the veils, uh, as the degrees of experience rise, then it will rise within as the awareness. You know, and so from within the gnan will continue to warn you and awaken you and keep be with you. From within the gnan will be constantly there for you. You see, so. So is it is it is the the one with the belief the one with the belief is the one who is attaining uh, the experience the one with the wrong belief gets the one with the right belief the one is the one who becomes the one with the experience of the self it is the same thing now the same one has so many roles is the next heading on page one sixty eight you see dasha yes you see the dasha dasha means is a good because dasha means the state around you and then you know because of the situations around you you become that you see so the situation is a personal situation and the circumstances around you raise a situation around you like in the in front of a train you become a passenger so your situation is that of a passenger the train is your circumstance and the same way in you know in front of a doctor you are a patient so these are all situations the, there are infinite Atmas and they are all worthy of becoming God, but for now they are in a mood Atma, unaware of the self-state. It is Bahir Mukhi Atma, the vision of the self that is externalized, small SELF. Bahir Mukhi Atma merely means mood Atma. It means that he is looking for pleasure in temporary things. This is mine, this will give me pleasure, this will give me pleasure. And then he keeps on wandering for infinite lifetimes, but nothing gives pleasure so he gets tired. But even then he says, I will find pleasure in this. But how many such things are there? there? There are infinite such things, amongst which he pushes aside one thing and takes another, and then he pushes aside that, and, and then he keeps, and in this way, 
and in this way in this way time passes by but pleasure does not come from any place you see you see so you see yes there is the still self and and then the pleasure does not come from any place it is in in every little object everything everything every every and every place every intent every time he takes the experience of all of these things and he gets the experience of it and then he finally comes and realizes that real pleasure is in the s capital self only all the worldly pleasure is temporary and imagine it is not real pleasure imagine means that you may like rice pudding and the other person may not does that happen or not questioner says yes yes questioner says yes it does dada shri says everyone likes real pleasure or suk pleasure that is eternal bliss is true gavard nan absolute thing absolute knowledge means in, in this everything in this universe if one has had the experience has had the total experience of everything in the in universe because it's a question so if this person has seen this thing so he has the experience of it in a long life every every matter every intent every time every space he has the he has the total experience of it that is called keval gnan and when he has had the total experience of everything in this universe from the four aspects of intention space time and and matter then he is done with it he is done with it and he kind of lives he has had a total it is not a shunya experience it is not a zero experience it is not a but it is a total experience and then he moves on further moves beyond he moves in the path of absolute liberation you see so in this is in the same way so now there is a relative experience when you finish all your relative experiences then you finish all your experiences of the s capital self and then the experiences of the s capital self uh, uh, whether it is pleasure or pain there you are all done with them that is kevad gnan absolute knowledge in all of this where am i who 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 did it happen to nobody is at fault no and this is this is happening to the prakriti this is happening to the non self i am separate in this and until one gets into that exact uh, experience of separation he will have to continue spinning in the cycle of the relative experiences only but that therefore the other she says by living in the world you are a vitarag even in other words somebody pushes and shoves you you are not angry and upset with him and somebody strokes you nicely you are not pleased with him either you see because you are continuously aware of who this is happening to and you know when that experience is continuous and constant then that you become a vitarag absolute self everyone likes real pleasure pleasure that is eternal bliss is true is what everyone likes this is all imagined pleasure it is different for everyone people who are hindus are vegetarians and muslims are non vegetarians so each has his own imagined source of pleasure and as long as one has a desire to enjoy imagined pleasures as long as one has a deep desire he remains a jeev atma and one is known as a jeev atma then he becomes an antar atma or interim state of i am pure soul when he meets a gnani purush to attain this state not even a saint can help you saints can help him move forward then once he becomes an antar atma he becomes free from worldly desires because he has attained the bliss of the self and his desire is to attain the completion of the bliss and the experience of the self and the deepak by repeating what we just read hello who is the one who wants material pleasures it is and this in the middle it is the one na 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 that one with people as long as one has and you know who is this one as long as one has the desire to insist in the entire one and tame you know let us see who this one is and, and this is this is in the atwani 13 in the chapter of nan and agnan the one is really actually in the chapter and you know there is a fight finally between knowledge and ignorance only and you see in, in ignorance 
in, in all of this in this entire thing if there is a whole bunch of God if, if, if there is a whole bunch of gold and then it, it's, it's, and if, if, if it had knowledge it would say I am gold and so if it says I am a gold bangle you see but it is because because the self has got the knowing and seeing capacity that is the gnan and that is and that is the atma that's s capital self that is the gnan that is the original atma and then its knowledge is either knowledge and that is the spote the self and then mind speech and body and that is the name and and there is the pote means pote means the the the, the, and if it is an ign ignorance and illusion, then it is called I am Chandulal. And the same one with knowledge, it is the Rhinocele. And he says, then so, so the small SELF is in ignorance, and the S capital SELF is in knowledge. And so, when all the ignorance and all the knowledge of the S capital cell, uh, small SELF goes away, then then the only the S capital self knowledge remains, and that is Kevad Gnan. But you see, as but you see, the gold was claiming that I am the gold bangle. You see that I am I am gold. I am a ring. I am a gold ring. I I am this. I am the ring on this finger, etc. In the same. But you see, but at all times the gold remains gold only. The situations keep changing. The evidences keep changing. And on the basis of that changing evidence, the knowledge keeps changing, the effect keeps changing. But the original state of the gold never changes. But the, the pressure on the knowledge, the, the pressure on the knowledge creates the, 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 the difference and the, and the illusion. And therefore the ignorance arises. And therefore he has not become, he... He remains as the gold, but he believes that he is the bangle. He is really the gold, but he believes the bangle. He is really the pure rhinocele, but he believes that he is the body. He is really the rhinocele, but he believes that he is the husband, you see. And so this is how it, it is. He is really actually the G capital Gnan, the pure knowledge only, but by really become becoming absorbed in the temporary changing knowledge, he gives, he becomes uh, a victim of ignorant knowledge. He becomes a victim of ignorant knowledge. So this whole thing is a fight between. And so the moment one, so this is the moment of the one in ignorance versus the one in knowledge, K capital knowledge. And so if you, if you go into ignorance, then the ego will arise and then the intellect will arise and the sansar will arise and the world will arise. He says, I am over, that belief is the beginning of it all, you see, that is the vibhav, you see. Yeah, so it had begun from Gnan only, because the Gnan is there, the real Gnan is I am Rhinocele, but he, that same Gnan went into I am over, you see. And, it's bec and it is because of the pressures of the circumstances, everything around, and therefore I am something, I am something. Just as the occasion of the beer in the Munich arose, and therefore he became the king of Bavaria, and you see that is the vibhav, and in the same that is the beginning of becoming the king. And when that when the alcohol effect goes away, he'll become the good old Uber, in the same way. And so and so all of those vibhav parinams, the vibhav effects, the effects of the non-self when they all go away, then he comes back and he becomes a gnani. He becomes the S capital self again and becomes back. And so, he, the, uh, the original self remains the S capital self only. The original self does not change at all. Pote. Yes, yes. As long as he has the desire, he, you see, and his Deepak Bhai is again reading, is one, one is a Jivatma, but then he becomes, as long as he has the desire, he remains a Jivatma. Uh, to and desire to enjoy image, imagine pleasures is jivatma and then he becomes an intaratma when he meets a gnani purush you see <coughs> and the other people who are, are, are saints only but they, they still have they you know they have purified their chit somewhat but they have not attained 
the experience of the s capital self the yes the sun you know but he says see this the saint in ignorance is a saint but when he attains the knowledge of the s capital self in ignanvidhi or through ignani purush then he will become the antaratma too and then he will become enlightened you see and when once he becomes free from the relative pleasures you know and when he becomes he wants to and you see and in how does he and he becomes the antaratma here yeah, you see and and his desire is to attain the completion of the bliss and to experience the self and and when his when his own vision internalizes towards the higher self you see you see you see so there are two things there is the atma then is pote the middle man the one and chandu that is the peripheral com- physical complex atma pote and chandu you see and the pote the one you see the pote pote we are using p o t e y for the one in the middle the one who is shifting back and forth between ignorance and and knowledge ignorance you see you see pote you see like you see pote the one awakened has got the experience of 2% experience of the s capital self he has got the awareness of 15% and he has got 100% conviction that i am the pure soul so you see so this is an amazing thing that has happened for the one who has attained the self and when the gnani purush helps him taste some of that bliss again another question coming is it not is this not a veil over the the atma says deepak bhai deepak bhai says sanjay no just because you get a veil over yourself does that mean that the purity of has become soil your purity is not soil it is your your belief has spoiled your darshan has spoiled your yeah you, it is yes you should just understand you should just, right now let's be talk about we should you yeah, dada is saying the dada is saying that you are actually you know, when dada says that you really you know he is still is the self is absolutely indestructible and also the pudgal the non self is also indestructible but the qualities are permanent the qualities of the self are eternal and the qualities of the non self are also eternal but when the two get together with each other there is the illusion that arises we it is when they come together in front of each other the illusion arises that is the pressure of the circumstances in the knowledge that doesn't mean that doesn't mean that the purity of the s capital was ever tainted at all there is no veil over the s capital self in reality you see you see the the activity of making a tea happens there is it happens because he has got the knowledge of how to make a cup of tea he knows to how to do add tea add sugar he knows it so he it is happening within the gnan he is his hap- he is doing the cup of tea while he, while a knowledge is there in knowledge the cup of tea is happening but through the intellect the only problem is the intellect is saying that i made the cup of tea the cup of tea is being made in gnan only but it is the intellect which says i made the cup of tea very beautiful sentence by deepak bhai you see very good be- then i am making the cup of tea is the second wrong belief i made a good cup of tea is third belief this is my tea is the fourth wrong belief and all kinds of wrong beliefs then start and then he will say how did it start how did it how do you make it he is able to describe it exactly because the knower is always there in the pure original knowledge is absolutely pure yes it is absolutely pure even you yourself are pure very pure you pote pote means p o t e y you the 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 one awakened one within and we in english we, for the pote we have for pote we have used the one the word one as long as one has a desire the same one therefore has a desire to enjoy as the same one wants to uh, have the bliss of the self the same one wants to get liberated so that one is the middle one so then there is the absolute self then there is the one and then there is the peripheral body you see Yes, so we have got there. Gnan has got four components: Shuddha Gnan, absolutely pure Gnan, and then there is Shub Gnan and Ashub Gnan, and then there is Ashuddha Gnan, which is which is we are not going to even talk about it. Shub and Ashub Gnan, 
mean, there is relative gnan and then there is the shuddha gnan. We have attained the shuddha gnan, the absolutely pure knowledge directly. You know, it is so. You know, when you want to separate water, you just have two uh, two H mo molecules and one O molecule, and the water will separate. And this is exactly how the other Sri has uh, are separating us in this in our state too. Exactly how he is separating us all. You see. And we, can we say that Gnan is this is is it astitva is existence, and, and the Deepak says that astitva is called the vis, the one with the vishtitva. Astitva means existence. It, it belongs to uva. It belongs to kacha. Uh, there is existence, and then there is vastut existence. Then vastutva means what is it? Then the rainasile, and then then this leads to punatva. That means the total absolute enlightenment. You see. So uh, the issues of existence uh, I exist for for the non-self complex for Uve, Nada, and Katya. They don't exist for the one who has awakened because you see that the, in the karmic path they say astitva, uh, vastutva, and purnatva they are applicable to the vyavahar atma, the mechanical atma, the interacting atma, the relatively interactive atma. You see, and so you see in the karmic path they go from the existence. To the reality, uh, vastutva, to the purnatva, to the totality, the absolute state. You see the three states. Whereas, yeah, for for, for us, we for 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 us, vastutva means vastu vastutva means vastu means the atma, the self. And so, when we have attained the self, we we don't have to talk about what is the self. We are the self. You see. I am the self, and then it will come to Purnatva, the final self. You see, so okay. Now Deepak Bhai is taking a pause. Now taking a break here. Uh, so he is taking a break. Jay Sachidan, we will take a break also and come back. I think there will be two parts probably. I will keep it going. Or oh, they have just turned off the. Well, I don't know what the time is, but uh, uh, let's see what the time is. <coughs> uh, it's 1:30 uh, Eastern Standard Time, so we just passed through two hours. So I suppose uh, that's the end of the morning session. Uh, I don't know whether he's ever he's going to discuss Samaik. If he is, he'll come. We'll wait for a little while. Longer, otherwise we will call it good night and then again meet at uh, six o'clock uh, uh, or maybe six thirty. I'm not sure. In Eastern Standard Time, then and carry on. Shudhatma hmm? Bhagwan, Jai Satchidanan. Wait for a few minutes and if he doesn't come in, we will we'll call it quits for this session. Uh, looks like they're trying to do something, so we'll find out. Hmm? Okay, I think I'm just going to shut this program. <clears throat> I have no way of knowing. Let me try to call over if he's up. Uva? 
Во. Во. Вот. Вот. Я сейчас сюда начну задать много кан. Alright. Uh, I can't hear you because maybe. Alright. Okay. Can you hear me? Hey, what? No? Yeah, Jay Sachi then. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Alright. We, we could hear you the whole time. But... Oh, good. Okay, good. So, I think they are not doing anything more, so we'll close it. Shall I close it? And...